I need a pillow. I'm so short. Um, I need a pillow. I'm like way too short. One second. Okay, so hey guys, welcome to Planet Mercury. Today I have a new camera, and hopefully you can tell. Um, it's supposed to be high def. I got it for Christmas, and it took way too long to use it. Hopefully you can tell, and hopefully it's better quality so I can start doing more videos, and it will be awesome. Okay, so today I have a story, a big story time. This is about my crazy move, or more so my crazy mover. <sighs> If you want to see how I moved and when I did, I have a vlog actually. It's called I'm Moving and it was my first and probably only vlog I've ever done. And I will link it below if that's what you want to watch. But I'm going to get to the part where we're in our house, this house that I'm in right now. Um, this was literally last year, I think. And so we got into this house. Our movers we had a lot of drama with because one of the movers that we started with we had a group of like five movers at first they came here and they were doing okay there was one guy that was slacking a lot and he would stop and like talk to me and go these guys are so terrible aren't they they don't even try to work here yeah i'm all alone this is all I do. I, I just work and I work hard and they get paid more than me and blah blah blah. And I was like, sorry, like that sucks, you know, but can you move my shit? You know what you're here to do? And anyway, he ended up getting super pissed off um, because the bo their boss ended up calling us out of nowhere and he ended up calling his boss to call us to say how horrible the other movers were when they were literally doing their job like the entire time. This guy was an older guy that was the one that was sitting talking shit. He was he was talking crap about them. He was like, oh yeah, these, these guys uh, aren't doing anything and I have to do all the work and blah blah blah. And obviously that's not true. It's not just me. He was talking to he was talking to multiple people when he said this. Multiple people were around him when he was talking about how shitty they were. Like it wasn't just to me. So I had my family all else to like back me up on this. So fast forward a little bit. We're in this new house because that was that drama was kind of around the old house like moving this up into the truck. We went over to the house. It took literally the entire, entire day. And like I said, the boss had called us and was like, is this true? And I told him the truth. I was like, no, actually, it's kind of the opposite. Like this guy's just sitting talking trash or whatever, and he's taking forever to get our stuff into our house. We just want, we don't want a friend. We just want you to do your job. What the fuck? I hope I'm telling this story, okay? I'm I have ADHD, so I'm like all over the place. I'm trying really, really hard to tell this story because it's fucked up. Um so okay. So we ended up um being at this house and it was super late at night. Um after the boss call and stuff, we're kind of fast forwarding to this place. I'll just say there was a lot of drama, a lot of unneeded, unnecessary drama caused by that guy. So they come over here and we're noticing that one guy that was complaining wasn't there anymore. And we only had one truck of things. And I was like, what the fuck? So I went up to them and I was like, um, where is this guy? Like, I'm not going to say his name. Where's Tom? Oh, Tom, he left. What do you mean he left? Oh, he took the truck with your shit in it, and he left. So, of course, the things that were in that truck that he took, by the way, he took it and hid it in a storage locker, like, on his, the mover's property, on their, like, little environment, and they were like, well, since it's late, we'll just deliver your stuff in the morning. We'll have other people come over there and get your stuff. So, he locked away our things 
because he rage quit and got pissed off, walked away, took all of our stuff with him. Like, if you get mad, call an Uber. Like, fucking get somebody to pick you up. Don't take our shit. Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, you don't just take someone else's stuff with you when you storm out like a little pussy. Like, that's not what you fucking do. I was so upset. And of course, the things that were in that truck were my things. You can also see that in the vlog. You can see me going, I have no bed. So, yeah. All of, like, it was mostly my stuff, period. Like, most of my room was in that last truck. Well, truck and a half, somewhere in there. But, yeah, there was still stuff at the house, by the way. Because they were like, you know what? You know, without him, it's going to be hard to do this. So, we'll just pick up tomorrow. And I was like, oh, my God, whatever. So, fast forward again. It's the next day. Completely new movers. There were two guys, actually. So, yeah, there was only two guys. And they were amazing. Like, they bust ass. Like, they came over here with all of our stuff and were just, like, throwing it into our house. Like, they were doing so fucking good. So, they were incredible. And one of the guys, what should I name him? Because this is what the story is really about. What's my name? Merle. Walking Dead. Okay, so one of the guys was Merle. And Merle was super cute and, you know, really, really, like, attractive, very talkative, very, like, you know, he wanted to sit and talk. So I sat and talked with them for a while because they got everything done so fast. What got me was that he started talking about video games because, of course, I set up my things, my PS4 that I took to the house because I am not trusting anybody with any of my consoles, my PC with any of my like important items, which are all games mostly, sadly. I was kind of like, I was talking to him and I was playing Infamous Second Son. He actually started like talking to me about video games like he knew what he was talking about. Like it wasn't just some guy going, yeah, I like uh, Call of Duty. It was like, straight up, he knew what he was talking about, and it was pretty awesome. So, I was I was kind of excited that we had something in common, so we talked for a long time. We were sitting and talking with them, and they were the fucking coolest dudes ever. Like, both of them were fucking awesome. Um, so, later on, Merle asked for my number, and of course I gave it to him because it was like, he's really nice. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, anyway, I called him, one of our insiders was, because I was playing Second, uh, Infamous Second Son, this is where it comes in. I wasn't just saying it to say it. Because, as you know, in Infamous Second Son, if you ever played it, you play with Delson. And he was by far, like, the fucking coolest. Um, I was playing with Delson, and he reminded me of Delson, so I would call him that. So, instead of calling him Merle... I would call him Delson. And that was like our insider thing. So fast forwarding a little bit, he has my number and they're finally back out there and they're doing their thing. They're putting everything um, in the house again. So he, they put all my stuff in my room. It's all kind of scattered because I didn't know how I wanted my room to be set up. As you could tell in the vlog, I was kind of like, I want my bed here, no here, no here, no here. Like, I had no idea what I was going to do. So Merle said, hey, why don't I set up your room? I have a vision for, like, decor and stuff. So why don't you let me set it up? I'll make sure that you have um, your TV by your cables and you can hook up your game systems and everything. And that was, like, my main priority was I had to be able to hook up my system to my TV because there was one cable thing in my room. And he was like, don't come in here. I'm going to set this up. So I was like, okay, that sounds awesome. Thank you. So he went in there for like 30 minutes, setting up all my stuff. Um, I remember him going, don't come in here though. I want it to be a surprise. So I said, okay, that's like, cool. So after about 30 minutes, he came, 
outside and he was like, I want to show you. So he showed me the room. It was set up. It's still set up the way it is right now today. So he did a really good job. I really liked it. So fast forward a little bit more. Um, one day he actually sent me flowers to my house and it was it was kind of before we started talking really like texting a lot like we'd say hey how are you and stuff he sent me flowers to my house and he said to Marilyn from Delson and it just made my like heart flutter I just so we got along like off the bat that that was just a given it was really awesome it was really fun and funny and yeah I liked him so we keep talking we're texting and kind of seeing each other on and off one day he texts me and he said that he liked to wear women's clothing and I was like okay and he goes no I like to wear women's lingerie and I remember responding to it like, okay, like, it's well, now 2016, but I remember going like, that's not such a weird thing anymore, like, you don't have to be, like, ashamed of it, because he was, like, building it up like it was this horrible secret, and I, I felt really bad, and when I responded positively about it, he was like, oh my god, really? And I was like, yeah, uh, like, why are you, you know, being so weird about it? He had an ex-wife who he was married to for a long time and he never told her about it or his kids, apparently. And I felt really bad because I was like, this poor guy has been like living like this in the dark for God knows how long. Like, that would be so horrible to like know your true self and then never be able to say anything until like years and years and years later. Like I said, I responded positively. So he ends up sending me pictures. Um, I didn't ask for them. He just sent me pictures and was like, well, what do you like about this? Do you like this? Do you like this? You know, multi just picture after picture after picture. And it was him in all different types of lingerie. Like, really fancy, really girly, really, like, like all different kinds. They weren't just, like one certain taste. It was like some stockings, he had some like bondage stuff, he had like lacy, you know, you get the idea. Very variety. And I was like, okay, that's really nice. Like, you know, I didn't know what to say because <laughs> like, we weren't that close. So he goes, can I tell you another secret? And I was like, well, yeah, I guess. <laughs> like, is there anything deeper than that like and he goes so you know I'm a mover and I said yes and he goes well from every house I moved I stole a piece of clothing and I thought that was a little weird and he went more in depth with it he was like well there was this 15 year old girl that I took from she had this lingerie he sent me the pictures it was like this I'm cute kind of like ladybug thing with like stockings and he was like gloating about how he took these things and I'm I didn't say anything for a while and he goes is it weird that I didn't buy any of it that I took it and I was like well yeah that is kind of weird because it's just not right to steal people's things, you know? And he goes, yeah, I know, but I just, I need it. And I'm embarrassed to go and buy it myself. So in a way, I understood. So I wasn't, I didn't get on his case about it. But then I remembered that he had been in my room for a really long time setting it up. I think... I think you know where I'm going with this. So I asked him, did you take any of my underwear? You know? And he goes, no, 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 no. And I was like, oh, okay. And he goes, do you know why I didn't? And I was like, okay, why? And he goes, because I want to see you again. The other people, I didn't want to see again. I knew I wouldn't see them again. That's why I stole their stuff. So in his mind it made sense in mine it, it didn't really I was kinda like okay anyway 
Time goes on, we're still talking, we're still texting. He sends me, like, a picture every single day in new lingerie all the time. So, he ended up telling me this crazy, off-the-wall fantasy thing. Like, we were on the phone, which is a very rare case. Like, I'm not one to be on the phone. So, I wasn't really much of a phone person, but he called me like constantly so one night I did pick up and it was really late at night and he just started talking very weird like he had this super crazy fantasy and I'm not even gonna go in depth with it because it was so creepy it was not standard creepy it was like underage girls creepy like he was saying that this actually happened and like that some girl like as he was taking a shower um, at his daughter's house his daughter's friend came over and she seen him in the shower and looked at his private parts and got turned on and started stripping and they ended up doing things I'm not even gonna say what he said they did but he said that this actually happened and I was just like praying to Jeebus that this was a fucking story, that this was some sick, twisted fantasy, because in his mind, it was real. And I was just like, you know what? I gotta go. Like, I I don't want to sit and listen to that. Like, I, I just can't. I, I'm very open-minded, but not when it comes to that, because that's just wrong on so many fucking levels. But... Anyway, I hung up, and I guess he kind of got mad at me. So, the very next day, guess what he sent me? No caption. Guess what he sent me? A picture of him in my panties. And how I know that is I had a very, very particular pair of panties that were actually my favorite, and they had gone missing. I didn't bring it up earlier because I was like, that's going to be super obvious. They're going to obviously know what he did. But he took these pair of panties that I got from a local boutique called, like, Cherries Underground or something. So this was something that other girls didn't have, even when I worked at the club, our club had a store in the back of our strip joint, so we had our own store to like pick out dresses and underwear and glitter and all that, all that shit, like we had our own store. I hadn't even seen another girl wear these pair of panties, like I've never come across another girl who wore these, period. Like, not on the internet, not in real life, nothing. And I've seen a lot of girls in underwear. I worked at a fucking strip club. Like, girls coming in and out constantly. So this was a very fucking particular pair of panties. They were black, lacy thongs with, like, these really pretty, like, black and purple and pink and, like, all these different color purple, like, tulip, kind of, like, cheetah zebra marks like they were very like expressive very out there and like in your face and like I said never seen him on anybody else he sent him a he sent himself in my fucking panties like out of everything he could have fucking sent he could have sent me a fucking zebra dick and I wouldn't have seen this coming like I don't know how because it seems like so much common fucking sense. This guy was in my room for far too long. He was sending me pictures of panties that he stole from other girls' houses. Yet I believe that he didn't steal one of my panties because he said so. It was like, why would he lie to me after everything he just said? And when he sent this picture to me, there was no caption. <laughs> like... I don't know if it was like a revenge thing, like he was upset that I got mad and hung up on him and he was going, eh, yeah, well, I took your panties kind of thing. Or if he was just like showing me another picture, not realizing that they were mine. Either way, I just, I was like, okay, this is like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so months and months pass 
I get a text from him recently and <laughs> out of the blue, I don't know if he had the wrong number or what, but he texts me, hey, weirdest thing, it's 4 a.m. I accidentally walked into a gay bathhouse. What the fuck? How the hell do you accidentally walk into a gay bathhouse? What the fuck is a gay bathhouse? Is it like some fucking bubble party with gay men? Like, I don't even understand what the fucking means. It's like, did he think he was going to walk into a Walgreens and go, Oh, this is a bubble bath party. Like, it, it's not something you accidentally walk into. And he's just so... I, I think that he might just have his own reality in his head or something that he just wants to express to someone and I was that someone at the time. I just stay the fuck away from him because he just creeps me out on so many levels. He stole my underwear and he's just like literally the creepiest guy I've ever met. So yeah, that was my craziest mover experience. I've had movers that stole my stuff, misplaced my stuff, you know, broke things, but never a mover that stole and wore my panties. That goes down in history as one of the weirdest fucking mover experiences of my life. And hopefully the last, because I'm sure I'll be moving again. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed my story time. Um, of my crazy mover and <laughs> subscribe oh and one last thing I really want to thank everybody for a thousand subscribers like holy fuck a thousand of you thank you so 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 fucking much for subscribing I couldn't believe five people subscribed to me like this is still off the wall surreal to me I just can't believe that a thousand subscribers like Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. But I should be having, since I do have more subscribers, I am going to put out more content. So hopefully I'll put out at least, at least one video a week. That's what I'm going for. That was my New Year's resolution because I have this new camera and I have space to actually do it. And there's no more excuses. I'm going to do more story time videos. I'm going to try to do more gameplay videos. Um, like I used to. They're not that popular, but I enjoy doing them. So leave a comment if you have any suggestions, if you want to see me do things. I really do enjoy telling stories. I feel like I'm talking to you guys directly and that we're friends. We're just chilling and exchanging cool stories. So if you want please leave me some crazy stories down in the comments. I would love to read them. That would be just, it would make my day. It'd possibly make me feel better about my crazy ass fucking life. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed your time here and I hope you have a wonderful day and thank you so much for stopping by Planet Mercury. I love you guys so much. Mwah! I love you guys.